what's going on? Like, what's up in the news and stuff? What are we talking about today? Well, today we're going to start with something a little bit different. We are going to play a game. Are you guys excited? Yes. <laughs> that, that took way too long for an answer, so no. Okay. I love games. What I game? spend so many hours of my day playing games. Let's go. Wait a minute. Who? Are you? Is it me? Is it you? Who knows? Yes, sir. Did your person wear glasses? Yes. He's an asshole. How good do you think your your ability to spot a grifter is? I think I can spot them pretty well. I don't think I could tell them apart that easily. Based on no. uh, based on uh, their their video titles, though, what do you think? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I I'll have a crack. I'll have I'll have a crack at it, but I'll, I'll, I'll make no promises. Well, okay. Right. Well, I mean, you know, to to be fair, I I doubt you uh, focus on the individuals as frequently as we have, right? Where we possibly like, actually, not. Yeah. Um, yeah. It all melts together into one big pile of sludge, a pillar of garbage, even. For me, oh, you know? got him. Yeah. Got him. I, I, him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, uh, what do you got, Bob? <clears throat> all right. These people hate you. The leftist media mad at Sound of Freedom. Oh, man. See, these are hard because this could be yeah. a bunch. This is actually. It's just all we get. We just, just get the title. Yeah, just the yeah. title. Yeah. Well, well, maybe, maybe Bob I got some thoughts. Mm -hmm. Let's get the let's get chats uh, guesses for yeah. uh, for a minute, and then we can get some uh, get a hint, maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I am I am interested what Pillar's thoughts are. Mm -hmm. I feel like two names have leapt to um, leapt, leapt, leapt to the tip of my tongue, and I I don't know because I probably like have like a different like hierarchy of you know the main ones to you guys, but um. This it's not quite well punctuated enough to be a nerdrotic one, so um, I'm thinking it's either I'm 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 leaning towards heel versus babyface Ryan Kennel or that yellow flash guy. That's the vibes I'm getting. I I will uh, say I haven't seen the correct answer actually yet. Um, oh, this, I will say this is somebody who gets uh, covered um, decently oh. on here. Um, Melanie Mac. Give you a few more minutes. Let's see. Got any more guesses, chat? Somebody's got to get this one. I'm actually surprised nobody's gotten this one yet. Oh, I haven't gotten it. Okay. Um, oh, damn. Wow. Well, uh, we yeah, cover it's... we cover them fairly often. It's Eric July, yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I, I knew it. <laughs> I actually have seen this now that I think about it because I, you know, just, well, I don't want to do it now because I, don't, I will give away something. But, like, I was scrolling through, uh, just, I searched Sound of Freedom earlier on YouTube and just was scrolling through, and it is fucking upsetting. <laughs> like, yeah, it is yeah. Concerning. I know this one. Now, we're starting I, out easy, so. I know, I know uh, this one. You know Please, this one? I know this one. This is the critical drinker. Yeah, well, I was going to say, you, it kind of gives it away that you and rumors tells, kind of narrows it down a little bit. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That, that, first that, of all, that, there's no no woke, no MCU that already takes away like Ryan Kennel, Keys and Gamers, and Nerd Rodic, right? There's no like, it's it's straight to the point. It's not the quartering, right? So I'm like, yeah, critical. Well, drink. let's well let's uh you know that that's just a test one. All right, but let's yeah, let the yeah, audience. Yeah, no, we're guess. starting out easy. Well, uh, let's let the audience guess first next yeah, time. I, I um, know Robert. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. Here. It's cool. Um, you helped us, uh, you know, do a test run. But, no, uh, no. Well, we got we got more of these. Like I said, this is the easy one. I don't like other people playing is, games because this is definitely Ryan Canal, and I just completely, completely what? You guys. Actually, <laughs> this is actual fandom. Okay, so this is definitely Critical Drinker. Uh, what am I thinking of? Um, okay. um, 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 you know. And I do feel like one of the giveaways is also the fact that. Um, most of these guys, when they do their video titles, it's like really like cringe. And Critical Drinker actually, you know, you look at this and it doesn't really tell you much. Um, but yeah, like it's. Um... He's a gateway guy. He is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Hundred percent. And it's uh, you know, and that's that's almost. I mean, it's definitely more problem insidious. I should say is it's a word mm -hmm. I use often. But I mean, I it's, it just comes to mind because, you know, at least with uh, you know, fucking nerd Roddick, it's pretty obvious what he's saying you know yeah yeah i um, mean you can look at the thumbnail for nerd Roddick and be like oh well fuck 
<laughs> right. With this, literally just, it's frustrating how, how little work this guy actually puts into this stuff. I know. Well, I, I think know. we talked about that before, but you yeah. know, maybe, maybe we need to take a cue from him and just be lazy. You know, like I, mm -hmm. I'm trying too hard. Um, is what mm -hmm. the deal is. <laughs> you work right. too hard, my guy. Guess Whatever. the grifter. Okay. We got DC some titles Comics here. I, I... goes mega woke. Now, is this, Ooh. is this a title of a video? Is, this, is it? These said... are all, these are all video titles. Okay. Hmm. Fuck. Oh, this could be every Christopher is throwing a throwing a, a dark horse wild card Ooh. into the maybe they careful, all have careful like saying things about her though you never know what she's gonna say back. Oh, okay, we got geeks and games. Head Ninja, I think you already well, not bad. Sorry, <laughs> I think you already know the answer to that question. Like you're asking, but I, I think you know. So who do you guys think it is? I don't know Ooh. honestly. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm. I, I do kind of want to throw out a guess though. Um, like that. Um, all of them. You know, Yellow Flash sounds promising. I'll go with Yellow Flash. No, get it out of here. I know what that is. I, yeah. Um, so yeah, I think people have enough time. So this one is Geeks and Gamers. Oh. Uh -huh. Just a just a typical good old. He. I don't. I don't know if he uses Mega Woke a lot. Perhaps that. Mm. That, that, well, it's not always uh, Jeremy Griggs. It's, it's I want to say it's like probably like seventy five percent Jeremy Griggs, but I know there's that Odin guy that pops on occasionally, and I don't know if yeah. there's anybody else. I mean, Ryan Cannell's on there a lot, but he's usually a guest. A lot of Eric July. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> humans. Yeah, but uh, well, here, here's another one. We we cover this this one fairly often too. Indiana Jones five gets destroyed at box office. Disney <laughs> embarrassed by Sound of Freedom on July fourth. And this has to be someone like Ryan Kennel or Geeks and Gamers. Yeah. Like screens them. Well, I mean, yeah, they're the only ones that are still cringe enough to still use destroyed all the time. Yeah, and just like trying to get I, I could see the Nerd on this. It could also definitely be Nerdrotic. He likes his emotive language, you know. He's got he he put embarrassed in there. Yeah, that's true. It could that is be. true. That's yeah, it typically um I think Ryan Kennel would uh leave it at one. Uh you know, kind of a statement, but I, th I think Ryan Killen just tries to like. I don't think he cares about how many statements. It's just he wants as yeah. many buzzwords no, in there Ryan, as possible. Ryan Kennel piles into statements. Um, yeah, and the only like the reason why I'm why I'm more towards someone like Ryan Kennel than Nerdrotic is simply because Ryan Kennel uploads more. Mm -hmm. And I, I will go ahead and say Turf got this one immediately. It is Ryan Kennel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just uh, yeah. of course. Well, I mean, it's worth pointing out, like. So the whole narrative about destroying Indiana Jones, it edged out Indiana Jones on opening day versus Indiana Jones on its first day of release. And there's a lot of questions about the box office numbers for this thing, but we will we will get into that later. We'll get to that. But, yeah. Oh, shit. Tricky. A little level two here. Uh, let's yeah. let the audience, give the audience a little while to... Uh... Hey guys, and yeah, don't what, go what do don't think? go searching YouTube for it. If don't play, yeah, don't do a cheap. YouTube search, guys. Just, just don't give them ideas. This title. All right, so we got Ryan Canal. We got two guesses for Yellow Flash, three guesses for Yellow Flash, and we got Knights of Melvin. All right, time. Um, All right, this this is nerdrotic. Nobody got it. Come on. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, like I said, I'm starting with the easy ones first. <laughs> I should have guessed it because I'm pretty sure I've seen him use doomed in thumbnails and yeah. stuff before. I know that because I will ape his style. How do you do, fellow kids? Uh, ooh, this one. Oh. Uh, Pillar of Garbage lied about you, about the critical drinker. Oh, shit. Pillar. I didn't know this. Pillar, how could like, you? You know, for uh, some reason, this one looks kind of familiar. I can't, I can't put uh, my finger on it. Yeah, I don't. I, I thought that was very good video, but you lied to us? What the hell? Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I just, I, I just, I, you might find this hard to believe, but people will just make things up on the internet, and I am one. What? Of them. <laughs> not, a, not a single <laughs> sentence I've ever released on my channel is remotely factual. I trusted what? you. Uh, what? Clue I, was blind, in the name. I, I blindly trusted you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I this one. It's yeah. a new map. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. We actually covered that whenever it happened. That was a really, I think I'd heard of you before that, but like really the first time I became familiar with the content was, you know, seeing that. EFAP had done this and your response to your video and I was like what the hell and and I'd seen the you know <clears throat> once we watched your video it's like dude you're actually how, how can you even deny that that's what Drinker did you know if you've seen the movie it's just 
found a way to, though, didn't they? They, they found a way for sure. Um, five, five hours they always of that, do. indeed. Yeah. I mean, they talked about you for five hours, so objectively, they are correct. Sure. That is how it works, yeah. 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 The longer your video is, the more correct you are. That's that's what that is, guys. This, yeah. These are facts. I'm sorry. Well, I, don't, I don't know. Kill yourself, oh, I no. guess. I don't know. Uh... I just, yeah, I just, I don't know. I just, I don't care. Jordan B. Peterson sentenced to in Canada to insane camp. This is unimaginable. I love Why how sen sentence. Yeah, I love how sentenced is capitalized. Why not do insane? Insane, or unimaginable? yeah. Unimaginable. It's, it's sentenced? <laughs> Why not just do Peterson capitalized? Insane. <laughs> Canada. Yeah. I'm gonna say basement pisser up yours woke moralists we'll see who cancels who <laughs> had to had to drop it with peter's of course, of course. <laughs> the chartering it could be donald trump you know <laughs> yes <laughs> no, it, it'll A be very sad. popular youtube channel <laughs> ben shapiro Ooh, we, we're getting a Quite a quite few, few quarters in a row. So Charles is said courting. What do you think, Bob? Drawing uh, You know, I might be. I think I'm just getting tempted by the crowd, but I really want to say quartering as well. What do you think, Dane? With your expertise, forget English as hell? you know it, dude. Um. Oh, oh, I think, I think Anchorman, Anchorman. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> did you, did you, did you throw up. a fucking a faker in here, Turf? <laughs> <laughs> Which is probably, by the way, for the future reference, it's probably something we can allow once per. Ooh. Yeah, mm -hmm. that could be fun. Yeah, that could be fun. I, I don't know. That's, I don't understand it. All right. So this is, as most people have guessed, the quartering. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. my basement pisser. It makes sense, like the incompetence in putting mm -hmm. sentenced as the incompetence and also just the fucking like uh, just... the absurd delusional. Yeah, it's in and the like camp. it says nothing. Sentenced to what? <laughs> He's just sentenced yeah. in Canada to insane camp. Yeah, English not well good <laughs> means it it seems to be a sentence. <laughs> I was trying to whenever my this appears to resemble English. Yeah, it seems English ish. <laughs> ish. If English were a color. <laughs> but if they think they're gonna do it in secret, they've got another thing coming. The oh. blank recommends <laughs> sound of freedom. Mm. I have questions about this, actually, about the, the, the video this is. It's obviously the critical drinker, right? But I, I have questions. What? I'll save How these for know, later. Obviously. Oh, I, I've just got a <laughs> sixth sense about these things. The geek and what? the gamer recommends. <laughs> <laughs> the neurotic recommends. <laughs> um, yeah, everybody knows this one. Yeah, what, what were you saying? What were you saying, Philly? <laughs> right, so... I, I I don't know. Maybe I should save this for later. But like, obviously, I've not watched this because I, you know, it's a point of personal pride that I watch as little of his content as I'm physically able to. But like, well, is it mm -hmm. super? How is he recommending you to this? Does he super does he like he's Scottish, right? But does he live in America? How has he seen this? Because it's only been released in America. So either either he either you know, maybe he does live there. I don't know. But if if not, he's gone online to watch some like bootleg of it, or he hasn't seen it. And either way, you know, his whole fence fencing shtick is kind of mm -hmm. done. Yeah. <laughs> what a surprise. It doesn't hold up. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. that's true. Like, and, and you might see a video before long from uh, some oh. people that, that, that are on yeah. the screen right now that kind of goes into his uh, fence sitting and whatnot. How his shtick works. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. Have, have you seen, have you noticed his pattern of, of video titles, like reviews where he's like, you know, it's a uh, it's a masterpiece, but it's garbage or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like it's yeah. just complete opposite stuff. Like the, yeah. the spider war the, the spider verse one is especially like yeah. that, right? Mm -hmm. It's like no masterpiece, but brilliant. I, yeah. I think the best thing ever made, but makes me want to kill myself. You know? It's no masterpiece, but <laughs> yeah, it, it it's 
yeah, he's total fence sitter. Um, and they're, I, they're, I, I hate yeah. actually. I almost want to say he's not yet actually a fence sitter because obviously, almost just being a fence sitter means you're saying something. Mm-hmm. Drinker says he yeah. gets screeners, and you, and to be honest, look, he probably did get a screener mailed directly. He's really to popular him from I'm Angel Studios. Yeah, that's just, the I'm thing. Gonna... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, not every like, not every big YouTube cha- media channel is gonna get a screener if you got a screener. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, I mean he was, you know, they they probably know that he's the type of person who would recommend their movie, you know, because it mm-hmm. fits into the whole narrative. Yeah, like yeah, it's 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 just good promotion from the fucking people who made the video because they also know he's massive. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, he promoted a uh, Terror on the Prairie. Yeah, so. <laughs> it didn't do much. <laughs> No, I mean, maybe he was responsible for like a hundred of the eight hundred dollars it made. Um, yeah, eight hundred our theater. opening weekend. Boom. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, I probably stuff like that. that. Um, uh, what am I thinking of? Um, um come on up. Come on, guys. We, Megan, we got this. Meghan Markle gets slammed after lying about Harry and Meghan Netflix series. She is awful. Oh, this is one of the good ones. I know, I know who this is. I know. Oh, yeah. This. Uh, oh, Phantom Menace Els is Star here. Wars girl. Hell oh, yeah. Shit. Well, every time Phantom Menace Els oh, shows up, it feels like the Watcher showing up in Marvel Comics. Like, oh shit, you know, I he's know. here to <laughs> observe. Some guy. On to the question. What is the most recent Japanese film, or at least um, entertainment, that you enjoyed so far? Uh. What am I thinking of? Um, what if? What if? Um, you know, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, I really like that. And- what if? I'm jumping out a window! Ah! Time. Uh, we're getting a whole bunch of Ryan Canal, Ryan Canal, Ryan Canal. I, I think it's Ryan Kennel too. Well, RK guess Outpost. what? You are correct. <laughs> Next up, Disney insults comic creators with shady loopholes. You motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I know who that is. Oh, actual fandom? <laughs> yep. That's me using their tactics in a. In a oh. Title. I'm doing oh. it for good, though. I'm using it for. For, you know, good purposes. I mean, I mean, Love the fact her. that you you, you <laughs> remembered that you did it, it it sends a good sign. Well, you know, and I, it, it wasn't just the words that remind me. It was that there's this click that goes, wait, they don't care about the creators. Why would they? Oh, wait, that's me that cares about creators. And <laughs> <Disney Park. laughs> um, oh, yeah, so actually, this is a nerd erotic. Oh <laughs> no, it's 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 actual fandom. Yeah, it's, if that was really if that was the case, <laughs> or is it actual fandom like, or forced adversity? Get it oh, right. Right. Pure cope. Hollywood panics Uh-oh. after what, what this oh, actor got, just said. Oh, I know this one. This is it. Well, th- this title is actually pretty nondescript too. Like you can All put right. this on most of their videos. This could be anyone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally anyone. And and you don't know if like th- this could be good or bad. Mm-hmm. Um, I-, I guess. I will give but, you but like, a hint. This this isn't like main geeks and gamers, but it's someone who works with them a lot. Oh, uh, is it Ryan Kennel or um, uh, Ep- Epic the Epic guy? I mean, I thought I thought the like the panics like there there aren't that many of them who use panic very often. I know Nerdrotic is one of them. I'm not sure sure if this is Nerdrotic. I feel like he's usually a bit more like open um, or explicit, but it could also be just Sai Rises. I don't know. So wait, did you did you mean like they work with him or they like work on the <clears throat> or they work on the channel with him? Uh, you see, with geeks and gamers, I'm I'm not sure. I know this person pops up on their videos fairly often, is and seems like they're like the lead on it. Hmm. It's, it's like, not the main. Yeah, it's mm. likely just Sai Rises then, right? He's quite often on geeks and gamers. You would be correct. <laughs> nice. But this is also uh, true. Like, Nerd Roddick uses panic a lot. I feel like I've yeah, noticed yes, that from this video. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Usually it's in his thumbnails, though, I think. True, True. Yeah. Like the big red fucking yellow letters. 
And the same goes with Miles Morales. He is indeed, again, Miles Morales. He's also a Spider-Man. Al Patty Jenkins dropping out. Wonder Woman 3 was used to discredit James Gunn's DC. Oh, fuck. This, one, this um, was more low-key. Uh, it was definitely my two cents of nonsense. Um, that channel is filled with uh, toxicity. <laughs> All right, time is starting. That's tricky, trickier one. I like how these are, like, leveling up. I'm going to assume you did that on purpose and just give you credit. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, at a certain point, it's like, okay, now we're just at max level. But... Yeah, this must be somebody that doesn't use as formulaic his titles. Um, yeah. No one's right. gone this one. Although, I, this is one I don't think we've brought up a whole lot on uh, Phantom Initiative, but it's definitely one that qualifies. Got some yellow flashes. Got a Midnight's Edge. Oh, that's, that, that's what I'm going with. Time is up, and I, I go with uh, I go with Midnight's Edge, too. Because and that does I'm seem sure like... you're the... correct. Yep. Disney's Star Wars insane fan attack by journalists. Fans don't know what they want. Fact. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. So this this one's a bit think think a bit out out of the box. It's not one of the usuals. You can see what I was grifting about. You guys know what this is about, I guess. Star Wars insane fan attack by journalists. Is that even what the, what is this expressing? It's, I don't know. It's 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 back from something that happened earlier last year. The big Star Wars, Disney, Star Wars fan insane. attack. Is it more? Is it kind of a, oh, a take on, a variation on that they're again? calling the fans racist? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, so oh, 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 right. The journalist okay. pointing out that she got racist things is the journalist attacking fans. Oh, mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm. You know the the media firestorm, Bob. Remember? Yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> That totally is not deflection, by the way. That's <laughs> legit reporting right there. Like, I'm yeah, like, racism is bad, but this media firestorm about the racism is really crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Sarcasm loading. <laughs> Doomcock. That, I mean, yeah, maybe. Did we get a Doomcock? All right, all right, before I let you guys answer, none of the person hasn't been guessed yet. So oh. I think Oh, so who do you guys oh. think? Now give me a moment. Who hasn't been? Who's who hasn't? And, it, been and it's not one of like the 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 big the the typical five. Well, I won't know then. Oh, shit. <laughs> fucking! Um, that's, a, that's a skill issue. <laughs> I seem to not know the answer. <laughs> Ish. Uh, God. Now I'm having trouble thinking of the other ones. Yeah, this, um, this seems seems like I uh, maybe don't have the right answer, <laughs> though I am very smart and I uh, <laughs> it's very obvious. I, I usually know the answer, but in this case, it's not so clear. What color would you use to rate your confusion? Um, grayish. Oh, you've activated your grayish. Confusion well, I don't know power. if you'd consider this one of the big five. But I'll go with uh, Young Ripper. Hmm. Wait, isn't that Eric July? So this is a uh, Disparu. Yeah, okay, oh, yeah. Who's so? Good. Okay. Who, who's like a? Him yet. He's yeah, up and coming, man. Yeah, he's, he's up and coming. Rising. It's one to um, look out for. Yeah, way to platform. We should actually dedicate <laughs> an episode to him. Uh, by the way, yeah. Because like he he's just how many? Did you see how many subs he's got or anything? Like a hundred eighty something thousand. And he's growing really fast, and he's yeah. being he's being put on tight. Uh, he's going on Friday night tights and and yep. EFAP and stuff. Mm -hmm. So like he's he's coming up. Um, and he looks yay, a bit younger too. He one. looks like I don't know. He, he watching he's like like from what I've watched, like it it looks like he has a bit more like I, young charisma than some of the others. Like he, I don't know. There, there there's something about him that I feel like he could he's got hit. something. It, yeah. Jim Caviezel claims Disney tried to shut down Sound of Freedom. You weren't supposed to see this. Uh, that's shitting into diapers. Oh shit! Early entry. I mean, oh, so do you think that like is that a real quote? Probably. Um, Jim Caviezel's been caught saying some real cringe, especially recently. We're, mm. we're gonna look into. I've got some stuff about that as well. 
um, you weren't supposed to see. It, it just sounds like like it's supposed to be from like Disney being like, you weren't supposed to see this movie. This one's interesting also because it's it's not like um, you know, it's not it's not like paraphrasing using silly emotive language. It's like this is it. it this is probably from one of the more plausible deniability enjoying channels because it's it's just saying something innocuous but like you know okay yeah maybe you maybe he did say that but the fact that all the viewers know the implications of this title mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. it's like the, i'm just stating i'm just stating the story you know i'm just yeah a neutral it, and it, story, it's but... not like it's not like sound of freedom sound of freedom destroys woke groomers you know it's not like that no. is it? it's the opposite it's like this person claims this very specific narrative thing, right? And I never yeah. like mention anyone from the other side. You know, it's like I'm a. It, it's only this narrative, mm -hmm. but but it still has oh. that like, yeah, yeah, got it. Oh, so yeah, Boom. Dane nailed it. Um, Bounding in the Comics is an interesting one because I don't typically like to cover channels that are smarter than me. But like again, Bounding in the Comics just has such an influence over this community. Did you say smarter it's than like, you? Smaller, <laughs> smaller. Oh, although, yeah, no, they are geniuses. I will intellectually, give them that. <laughs> you cannot handle them. I know. I mean, um, dude, like, I have like research and stuff, but they have like this fucking bishop in like some fucking, you know, in Rome or something. Their their something channel bad. is kind of irrelevant just because of the reach that their website gets. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually curious, Pillar. Have you like looked into bounding into comics? I'm like aware that they're this, you know fascistic website i didn't know they had a youtube channel but i mean mm -hmm. looking for, yeah. looking on that view count that i shouldn't really be surprised that i didn't know that yeah well, i the, mean that's not where they're like big on influence but like yeah the, the website is the main one it's just bounding into comics runs very deep within a lot of these channels like a lot yeah, of the news that you'll see them talking about is from a bounding into comics uh like almost article. always went to yeah. unsourced a new when they don't source it you look into it it's going to be bounding into comics almost yeah. always and then sometimes they do source it but yeah they pop like up it goes, all the time oh. yeah it goes very deep and um mm. yeah it, it's a very good one to be a, like aware of because of how they all basically use it yeah uh just to clarify you know before we you know because we're not going to get into it in detail until later on in the show but they didn't try to shut it down they just uh so whenever it was a fox production originally mm -hmm. and then disney bought fox it was this was filmed and like finished in 2018 um mm -hmm. And so Disney, you know, bought Fox and they looked at all the movies. This is far from the only movie I, I'm sure that Disney decided. Eh, yeah, it, ha it happened to a ton of them, didn't it? Like so many. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, so the claim is that that they, the way that Caviezel words, words it in that Bounding in a Comics article is, it's like he's trying to do, you know, uh, reasonable doubt, but it's, it's clear what he's saying to the people that believe the shit he believes. That, that Disney tried to shut it down because they're pedophiles or something like that. Um you know they're they're part of the whole sex trafficking thing or whatever and it's like he doesn't make that claim exactly but he says that yeah they don't want you to see it and stuff like that um and what else would be the implication behind that statement right oh well this is something we haven't covered i've covered these guys once but like this is uh something to look over um media freaks over sound of freedom success um it's okay if you guys don't get this one but yeah um, so it's i don't think we've ever covered people. them on the initiative they are they're kind of an issue. Mm. So it's something that, that you got the the last part blacked out there. So it's somebody that puts their name or something identifiable. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Huh. Clownfish? Yeah. I don't know. That's a guess. Mm. Oh, shit. Uh... At this point, I'm clueless. All of my grifter yeah. guessing faculties have been sort of <laughs> worn down at this point. Jennifer Lawrence lies about Hollywood female roles get destroyed by the internet. Because, yeah, saying something to someone requires you to get destroyed by the internet. See, this has That's the it. same, like, 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 aspects as Ryan, the Ryan Kinnell one, you know? I know who I think this is. This is going to be, yeah, one of two. Yeah. Got to go with uh, Phantom Menace L's wisdom on this one. Uh, Geeks and Gamers, RK Outpost, Geeks and Gamers. I mean, RK Outpost Geeks and Geeks and Gamers make very much the exact same content. Oh, they make the same videos for your point. Yeah. Uh, and it is. <laughs> yeah, this is yep. Geeks and Gamers. Yeah, this is the one I uh, my tweet went well on. I had to do this one. Um, oh, yeah. oh, I have a I have a, a side game I want to ask you guys. Who's more yes. entertaining? Geeks and Gamers or Ryan Kennel? Like, just kind of divorced from obvious the obvious awfulness of their what they're doing. Like, is there one of them that you would say is more 
if you had to break down one of their videos and like maybe even edit it down and stuff like that, which I'm sure you, you've done to some degree, mm -hmm. which one would you pick? Gun to your head. Uh, <laughs> I'd probably say like, like probably the most like, I'd assume like, like just sitting and talking to the person, the person would be the most like entertaining is probably Jeremy. But like video wise, I'd say Ryan Kennel is the funniest just because he's so angry and like shouts all the time. I, I, I actually lean towards Ryan Kennel. Uh, yeah, true. Look know, what like, they did to him. Give Namor his penis back. Zoop. Zoop.